I'll open up my vision of interest. Once the patient data is loaded, I'm going to select my ISO center of interest. And once that ISO center is loaded, I'll go into the treatment room and pre-position the patient either based on laser or the infrared reflective markers. Very close. We can rotate it over. Okay. And then uh, in the lateral direction also. Yeah. So yeah. turn the field light on. going to prep for uh, x-ray correction. I'm going to capture the configuration of the infrared reflective markers. And I'm ready for x-ray correction. I'm going to visually ex uh, inspect my phantom positioning. This will tell me if I need to perform fusion or not. And based on this, I need to perform fusion. So I'm going to do automatic fusion. One more visual inspection. Looks good. So I'll approve the fusion. Oh. That's actually a very good point. So I'm going to toggle between the X-ray and the DRR just to make sure I'm looking at the eye sockets here. Uh, also looking at the teeth, which on a patient you should not look at. I'm looking at the jaw bones here. And when I toggle between the X-ray and the DRR, the eye socket, these jaw bones are all aligned. They're well aligned. So this is a good fusion. I'll proceed by approving the fusion and go next to apply 
these uh, shifts, the discrepancy between my current alignment and uh, the patient positioning at computer uh, at simulation. Position my couch ready for Colmium City acquisition. This will alert me to just ensure that I have the right filter mounted for imaging. And I'm going to rotate my gantry. Actually, I'm going to move my imager, the detector, and the source out in position. Next, I'm going to rotate my gantry to uh, start position, which in this case is 22 degrees. And I'm ready for uh, cone beam CT acquisition. Explain what it's doing. So right now we are acquiring projections. Our projections are not a full 360 degrees. The gantry will start rotating at 22 degrees and will stop at 180 degrees. So I've completed my acquisition of projections and then I'll move my couch back to uh, its original position from its safe zone okay. I'm going to accept my uh, reconstructed scans and export them for image registration So in this OBI window, I can toggle between my cone beam CT acquisition and my planning CT acquisition. I can use automatic fusion or manual fusion. In this case, I'm going to perform automatic fusion and see what my discrepancies are. And based on this fusion, I get uh, about a two millimeter discrepancy in the vertical direction. So this does not pass my QA test because my uh, tolerance is one millimeter. So with a failure, we have to investigate the source of the discrepancy. Cut. <laughs>